Welcome back. Previously, I made a video talking about nested timelines. Uh, we have a fix for this uh, in the latest version of Kin Life, so you should definitely go update if you haven't already to the latest version because we have fixes to crashes and stuff like that, which I explained could happen. And now it's less likely to happen because there are a bunch of fixes to that. Anyway, that's great, but I want to talk to you guys about using libraries. So right here we have a bunch of clips I just had on my hard drive. So we can go ahead and put that to the end. And we want to essentially create a, uh, a, a library, essentially. So what we can do is we can select these clips and it's essentially going to create a single video from it that we can reuse in every single project because it's like a library, it's like a bookshelf, it's a storage area. So it doesn't matter what project you're editing, you will always be able to have access to this uh, this uh, well, this clip essentially. So it acts like a library and it doesn't matter what project you're in, you can access it. It's great for doing things like transitions and memes and, and little segments that you want to reuse in different videos, especially for like YouTubers and whatnot. So let's go down to view and activate the library. And you can see it adds the library here. Uh, you can obviously drag it and move it wherever you want it to, to go. I'm going to put it back here. And you can see I already have a video in my library called Full Tutorial. And you can see uh, we have uh, the project when it was created and whatnot. And we can go ahead, drag it into our timeline. And here it's going to import this as a, as a single a video file and obviously the audio waveform is being built out you can see the job here and what we can see is that it is an edited video this is a bunch of different videos that I combined together and it edited it all into a single video so it essentially exports and compiles different video segments into a single video file so it's great for working on different projects uh, with the same video elements, uh, like I said, for memes or different bits in your videos. What we can do to do this is select all the videos that you want. I'm going to select these two. Go to Timeline, and then you can see we have Create Selection uh, from the Sequence. That's what we talked about last video. What we want to talk about now is add the Timeline Selection to a Library. And now we can rename this to what it wants to be. I'm going to call this Batman Clip. And we can press OK. And now we can go ahead to the library and we can see we have Batman clip right here. And so obviously this is uh, um, not built up fully yet. So what we can do is we can go ahead, drag this into our timeline. And now you can see it adds it into our project here as it, uh, its own individual clip. So all this is combined into a single video file instead of the two individual video files that you had before. And like I said, you can use this in all your projects. Every yeah. Kid Life project that you open up, your you can go to your libraries and you can find all the different uh, clips that you turned into uh, libraries. And uh, then it's only then that it builds out your uh, project file, like you import in it. So it's a great way of essentially rendering your compiled elements into a single clip and reusing that single clip throughout your entire projects. Like I said, for memes or whatever segments you want to repeat in all your different projects, it's a huge time saver. Definitely something to be able to use and be aware of because it avoids you from recreating the same effect or the same segment over and over again. 